In this video, I want to talk to you about projections. And projections are, of course, how we display information about the Earth. The geographic data that we have about the Earth is three-dimensional because, of course, the Earth is spherical, but we often display it in two dimensions on a map or even on a computer monitor like you are looking at it right now. That must mean we're going through some kind of transformation in order to display it in this way. So let's take a look at how uh, ArcMap handles projections. So I'm going to go over here to Layers, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go down to Properties. And I'm going to go back to where we saw the two different folders here, one for Geographic Coordinate Systems and one for Projected Coordinate Systems. And this folder for Projected Coordinate Systems is basically what I would just call Projections. The major distinction that needs to be made here, although ArcMap will confuse this if you let it, is that our data should be stored in a geographic, what it calls a geographic coordinate system. And we looked at this uh, in the last video with world countries. We saw that all of that data is stored according to the World Geodetic Survey of 1984. But how we choose to display that data should be according to a transformation that we find here in the projected coordinate system folder. So if you look into this folder, you will start to see things that probably look a lot more familiar to you, especially if you take a look at world, uh, that seem like the kinds of things that we recognize as projections. Eckert, equidistant conic, equidistant cylindrical, uh, the Mercator, the Miller cylindrical. So you start to see things that uh, polyconic projection. These things start to look like um, the, the kinds of things that we think of as projections, and that is because they are. So I could choose one of these, and then for the purposes of display in this project, ArcMap will transform the data according to the uh, equation that is this projection in order to display it on the computer screen. Now before I click and show you that, I want to show you one of the peculiarities about this program, and it's one that I'm not a big fan of. Notice down here it says current coordinate system, and that reports what my data frame currently is in. And this is where ArcMap really starts to get the difference between uh, how you're going to store three-dimensional data uh, versus how you're going to display data in two dimensions confused. So you'll notice, of course, it has to be the case that since I'm looking at this world data here on two dimensions on my computer screen, it has to have been projected. It, it has to be. There's no other way around it. And of course, because this is a computer system, you probably think that it probably has done something systematic to transform that data onto this uh, two-dimensional surface, which of course it has. So you might be tempted to ask then, well, what projection did it use in order to display this data? It must have done something. Well, ArcMap is unfortunately rather opaque in that kind of thing, because if I go over to Layers, now remember this is the difference between a particular data file. We know uh, how the data is being stored, the properties under Layers should tell me information about uh, how it's being displayed, but it really doesn't. When I open it right up here, it tells me, hey, I'm using WGS1984. But WGS1984 is not a projection. It's not a way for me to display that data in two dimensions. So what ArcMap is doing is it's just taking all of the points in this data file and it's plotting the latitude and longitude as if the latitude and longitude were Cartesian grid coordinates. And we already saw that uh, when we're scrolling around with our cursor, the cursor or the program reports the position of the cursor in a really strange way. It reports it as if it were uh, following a Cartesian grid. So yes, this is technically a projection, and in fact, one of the easiest ways that you could make a projection is just to assume that uh, the spherical latitude and longitude coordinates are uh, Cartesian grid coordinates and just plot them in two-dimensional space. When you do that, the projection that results does have some uh, rather peculiar properties, and we could go and look at that in more detail. But really, when we're trying to display the data, we want to change this to a projection that makes sense. So I'm going to go down to Layers and Properties, and I'm going to get out of this uh, this Geographic Coordinate Systems folder. I'm going to go down to Projected Coordinate Systems, and because this is world data, I'm, I'm going to go over here to uh, the World folder. And uh, let's display it according to a Robinson projection, which is a compromise projection. And all I have to do is click that and then say Apply. And there we go. It has done a mathematical transformation on that data in order to display it according to the equations that are the Robinson projection. Very importantly, if I go back to the world uh, countries, nothing has changed about the data. The data is still latitude and longitude, points, 
that are have been collected according to the specifications of WGS84. They are now just being shown here on my computer screen according to uh, the methods of the Robinson projection. That's the distinction between how we store data and how we display data. If I want to change this up again, and let's use the Mercator projection, I can do that. And now we are using the Mercator projection. This is project specific, so I can save out this project and keep all of my data according to one projection for the purposes of a project, and then use the same data in a different projection in a different project. When I come back, we're going to talk about how important it is to really understand what is going on uh, with scale and with projections when you're working inside ArcMap, because it doesn't just do it all for you. So we'll look at some different problems that you can possibly have if you don't understand what the software is doing. Thank you.